Not a lot of cheddar? They want all the cheddar. There is no cheddar. Hello and welcome to the Haunted PS1 demo disc. This is a collection of 17 PS1 inspired demos for PC. Uh, it looks fun and let's check it out. I love the PS1 aesthetic, so I feel like this is gonna be great. Uh, I found this on itch.io, link will be in the description. what we got. Somnia. Till big light. Let's try this one out. Why not? Description. A narrative adventure about mice, fat cats, and the never-ending quest for Cheddar. <laughs> that sounds fun. It's the middle of the night. It's the middle of the no light. And you've been rudely awakened by your landlord demanding an extortionate amount of rent. You don't have the cheddar to cover it. So you gotta go into the nearby neighborhood in search of odd jobs to scrounge up crumbs. Are we a mouse? Are they talking about actual cheddar? Cheddar. That's the way back into the burrow. With how angry my landlord is, I don't think I want to confront them again without rent. Ew. Oh, it's a little matchbox table. Cute. Hello. The hefty mouse behind the bar looks you up and down, their paw rapidly spinning a bolt of cloth inside a thimble. Mm, hi there. I haven't seen you around here before. I was gonna try to voice and I don't think I will again. <laughs> Surely you didn't just wander in from the trail. What if I did? I'd be fairly impressed. Not many a mouse is able to avoid those roving packs of feral beasts, cats. Best to keep the cordon, cordon, off zones, where we know the fat cats are able to ensure our safety. Oh, they protect us. Have you been out there? Gods, no. How do you know it's dangerous? I've been told as much. And I don't go quest around questioning an entity as all-knowing as fat cats. Or is it just one person? Look, is there something you need? Got any crumbs? Ah, just what I like to hear. A mouse motivated to work. I mean, assuming you are looking to work for those crumbs. Just give me them. What do you need done? Well, I have a bit of a roach problem in the cellar. We're mice. These are gonna be huge freaking roaches. Am I gonna use that pitchfork? I'm gonna be like, yeah, yeah. They're quite huge. Wouldn't probably take a skilled sword's mouse to fell one. So that rolls you out. You don't know me. But I got something more of your speed. A letter that needs to be delivered. Are you familiar with nine lives? What? Really? It's the biggest chain owned by fat cats. You've definitely seen one at some point. They're everywhere. Uh, not yet. At any rate, there's one just further down the path here. That's where you're going. Take this letter. And give it to the cashier. Ah. You were giving a mysterious letter. They'll be the ones you pay to pay you. Don't listen to any pleas they come up with. The rampant liar. What they do? Who are they? Who are they? No. 
Don't go poking your snout into things. Trust me. Just hand that over and you'll be something nice in return. Just stab me. Let me know if, when it's taken care of. Stay safe out there. Bye. You gotta go, like, up the road or something? Hey there! You know that... You're that new mouse around here, right? That one that does whiskers deliveries? I've seen you out here now and then. Doing deliveries. Just like me. Is that your side gig? Not quite. Oh, my friend. That's no... There's no shame in it. <laughs> I'm a god. Just like you. No, you're paying all too well. We're comrades out there. The everlasting chase for cheddar. It's so fruitless. I could use some help. What's up? I'm being evicted. No shit. Me too. Let's be friends. We're already co-workers. I hate that though. Whisker is terrible. It's another dumb fat cat's initiative cooked up to follow Humi Trans. Pays the bills. Not enough apparently. Not like you have much of a choice anyway. Hardly any jobs out here, much less anything iron. Damn if you do, damn more if you don't. It's nice. Not having to work one of these stupid shops like non lives, but I don't know how good it that really is. All I do day in and day out is sprint up and down the trail, handling r rich and food they can afford for scraps of crumbs off the top. I don't have to stop unless I wanna, which is really good. But also, it's not like I have to go out there. No one's making me. <laughs> no one cares about me either. It's lonely. And this camaraderie. I had a tumble the other week while I was running a delivery. Fell down a hillside. Steep. Really messed me up. Bounced off some rocks on the way down. Had a hard time walking it. And the dark I saw told me it was going to cost me a good hunk of cheddar to fix me up. Ow. Bounced off some rocks? I don't really have much stowed away because I'm barely making crumbs anyway, you know? Can't save on that. Suppose I have to pay him for the checkup. I can barely afford to eat. And now I couldn't get it. And now I couldn't get going to make more money. Because my job relies on me being able to run all over the place. Real shit sandwich, let me tell you. I tried to reach out to Whisker and tell him, you know, I was working for you guys while this happened. You know? Pull myself back up on the trail and hobble all the way to the end of my delivery still. May they front me some of the cost, make me feel like they valued my work, appreciated the due diligence, and finished out an order after that. <laughs> Told me I was the one responsible for me. So, now, here I am. Got crumbs for drinks, I slowly limp up and down the trail for a few more crumbs some for some more drinks, and I survive. <laughs> I don't feel like talking much anymore. It's fine. Good luck out there. That's sad. That is sad. So, up this way. This is really like sideways. Wow. It's a ladder. No stuck to the door reads the shoebox apartments. Opening soon, located in the outskirts of the shoebox. Offers luxurious living for an affordable price. For only 5,600 or a cycle, you too can enjoy a roomy six square inches of the hottest new craze micro burrows. A cycle? That sounds like it's a day. That's a lot. Contact us during big light to fill out an application. Please note the application costs half a cycle's rent. What? Applications do not guarantee placement within the complex. B is non refundable. That's some bull. And look how small this is. It does sound like something a big company would do, though. Like, that's that's ridiculous. Hello. This was not far at all. Why didn't he just deliver it? I mean, I'm happy. I'm gonna get some crumbs, but like... Bro. Hello. They lean lazily on... They lean lazily on the counter. Obviously young. Obviously extremely bored. They don't seem to notice your approach. You wave your paw and a, a little at them. And they come too. 
Oh, uh, hi. Are you buying something? I got a letter for you. They shift nervously, averting their gaze from yours. Uh, what? What do you mean? Handed them the mysterious letter. Look, I don't have anywhere near enough crumbs. Just a messenger, bro. Sure, sure, but first you, then who? If they send someone actually threatening to my borough. I mean, my parents' borough, but... I mean, I live there too, just not with them, you know? Because they suck. Anyway, I don't think I can afford that. You gotta help me out. How I'm broke. Well, if you want to keep your word to them, you're gonna have to help. Help. Otherwise, you're in trouble too. See, it's definitely your problem. They don't take kindly to people who can't accomplish what they need. I can't afford that tab. But I have a friend that I think can help. Ooh. Alright, so you can head out of here, take left, you should see a real small path through the grass. That'll take you to a cliff. Left, path, cliff. Knowing them, there should be an old mouse staring at nothing out there. They know everything there is to know about this place. They'll know what to do about this barkeep. I know you got a lot of questions about this, so I'm sure they can clue, clue you clue you in on what a mess this place is. Here, this note explaining everything. Just hand that over. You're given the hastily scrawled note. I'll close up early and meet you over there when I'm done. We'll talk more about what to do. This is exciting! It is. It is. Today might be the red letter day we've been waiting for. We decide to help, my friend. Anyway, gotta get, gotta start getting stuff put away here. Go get caught up. Blah. Left path. Got you. Is it exciting? I didn't see a cliff. Whatever. Hi. Holy mouse. Well, hello there, Squirt. What can I do for you? What are you doing? Oh, just reminiscing. These houses are somewhat of recent development. <laughs> if you'll pardon an old long whisker pun, it used to be forced up to the cliffside, you know? I miss it occasionally. You would do, Squirt. It was such a haven for our kind. Who are you? Me? I'm just an old mouse who settled down. No one special, I assure you. I have this note for you. Who? Oh, let me have a look. Oh, that poor young one. Hmm, I suppose you have a lot of questions, don't you? What's going on? Help. Well, first, some monumental proportions, Squirt. The felines have swindled us time and time again. But what's happening now is far by the worst swindle that they've ever wrought. What about the... Kid. The squabble between that child and the barkeep is nothing compared with to the cats. Have their paws in. The barkeep is only beginning, I assure you. Do you understand a, how a system of control can wrap it, its measly tail around a society of intelligent creatures? For the fat cats, it's a simple matter of disinformation. Smoke screens and silencing any squeaks of dissidents. A con a concerted? concerted effort to set to establish complete and utter control of how we perceive reality itself. They set their paws to creating a hippo hyper reality in which we find ourselves immersed. A world to douse the muddies water of the true and the untrue that lines between them are turned in blood. That voice. <laughs> I didn't expect that voice to kill me, but it is. Until we can no longer see the water we swim in. After all. If you can't know what or what is or isn't real, how can you make any meaningful change or fight injustice? How do you ever know where there's problems within the system to begin with? For those who dare to go against the grain, 
and find themselves quickly swatted down by the iron pall of totalitarianism. I can English. There's a reason our last attempt to overthrow the feckless leaders is called the Final Rebellion. A statement of what reality will be as much as one of what was. We've lost our chance to turn the tide. What happened? Infiltration! Undermining! Turning us against one another! Creating insurmountable walls between us! An external group to turn a hateful eye upon the stoops from focusing on the real internal issues! A dastardly plan to blind us with our own hatred! The barkeep was such a mouse who fell! Entrance by the siren song of the blame! Thought a movement that placed all of the hardship of mousehood squarely on the shoulders of non-mice, non-mice, excluding the felines, of course. Anger is far easier to harbor than love. The cats knew that and exploited it to its fullest. What did they do? Tell me, when was the last time you saw a rat? Never seen one. There's a reason for that, as there is for all things. One that I'm sure you understand. Originally, this oak stood above all the woods. Here, a guardian high above the tree line. The fat cats would have those they call lesser beings with cold calculation hanged from its branches. The tree of growth, they called it. We shed the weight of laws their burden upon as the society to achieve greater heights. Or so they have you believe. The barkeep was the grim caretaker of this place, an ancient family home that they had themselves inherited. Eventually, folk turned in time into an inn, but they couldn't keep it afloat after the issuance of cheddar. All the cheddar. So much cheddar. Not a lot of cheddar? They want all the cheddar. There is no cheddar. But with the advent of the ten, no soul wished to venture this far, especially for a fee. Desperate and low on cheddar, they turned the oak over to the fat cats when they expressed a keen interest of the location. Rats weren't the only under undesirables in the eyes of the felines. One group is rarely enough to bear the brunt of such ire for long. Quickly, the oak became a harbor for all sorts of enemies of the establishment, and you earned their ire began to quietly disappear. Ire? Ear? Er? I don't know. For a while, the mice bro here would simply be adjusted. No one was ever quite the same when they came back. It wasn't until much later we realized that the bastards were making them infertile. That's why you can't. That's why you have to stop them. Excuse me? You're an unknown entity here. I've seen you sulking around. About. Trying not to be noticed, you'll slip in and out of that burrow like a spirit in the night. Going unnoticed, it seems. Unnoticed seems to be skill you're honed well. And it's something that could be beneficial of mouse kind tonight. Well, thanks. Thanks for telling me nobody even notices me. Just like real life. Easily enough, you could slip into the oak, scale it, and topple the feline patriarch. The hides up top, silent. Lording over us. His gaze never falters from this place here. The cat in the tower controls it all without raising a single paw. But they'd never be see coming. You're so meek, so modest in physical stature. After all, face it, you're the perfect mouse for the job. They've all taken so much from us, it's time we take it back. We can burn away the blight that has plagued this once great society. You are a talker, sir. Damn. Why not that kid? They're too loud. Too bad. Boisterous. Too emotionally charged. They couldn't hold themselves together long enough to make it past the security in that. Oh, not like you. I just want to pay a rent. Huh. Rent. That's a good one. Who do you think owns all the land around here? The landlord? No, they're just a pasty. Pasty. They shake you down for your cheddar. The go between for whenever things turn ugly. The barkeep wouldn't fall from ca fat cats was more than enough to snatch up the land, and the felines had no interest in. 
will never be aware again if we can take the first step towards a new tomorrow. Fine. If I have to. That's the spirit! First things first, I'm the realist. <laughs> We're gonna need some leverage to keep the keys to the Fortress of the Oak. May not look like much, but that... No, I am pregnant. I have an idea! Go back to the Tin Can Bar. The barkeep always scurries off this time of no light to meet with their superiors. Behind the bar, to the far side. From the entrance, you'll find a false bottom in the last drawer. There you'll be. You'll find a bargaining chip. Bring it to me. And we can set in motion a new dawn for Mousekind. I'll head towards the bar shortly after you. I just need a few more moments first. After all, who knows how many more I'll have like this. Where well, hope springs a tattoo in the mouse's chest. Best not to deny an old mouse long and whisker and brittle a bone that much remains steadfast squirt. Oh, thank god. Yeet! Who's that? What up? Well, I didn't expect you to actually accept that. Sorry, I was overstepping. Eavesdropping. I finished closing the store and you two were so loud. At any rate, I think they're gonna send you after. Well, you'll see. I've glimpsed it before, it's beautiful. What? I don't want to spoil the surprise. I should probably get the hell out of here before this shit hits the fan. I think you're gonna verge on kicking the hornet's nest, and I don't want to be around for it. Rather be rather not be collateral damage. So I guess. I hope this is. I hope this isn't goodbye. Just a farewell until I see you again. In the big light. Hopefully we'll both stand a little taller as mice in control of their own fates for the first time in a long time. By the way. I, uh, shaved a little off the top of tonight's profits when I was counting the till. I know, I know, toppling the meowling archy, but just in case you end up needing to pay your rent. Somehow. Don't die up there. Ooh, 50. Thanks, bro. What was right here? Like 5,000 something a day? Because I feel like cycle means a day. Who the fuck is that? Also, is the old guy working for the big cats or whatever they're called? Because I feel like they could be. What up? Oh. Oh, hey, you. Long time no see. Have you been? Have you? Did you see the barkeep? He just left. No? Oh. Oh. Okay. You think they'll mind me snagging myself? <laughs> Another, uh, three? We're behind the bar? Well, you're back there. You decided to bring up the speed on what you've learned about the oak. You assume they won't remember much of this anyway. Well, I'm sure how much of the paw, how much of a paw the barkeep has in all this. They're, they are won't to believe you regarding the rest of the tale. As you mentioned, the bargaining piece. The barfly's eyes light up. They rush to the other side of the bar, open the drawer, remove the false bottom, set the object on the counter. Lord of the Hundreds. I forgot this guy's voice. Pungent odor fills your nostrils, a scent you've never before experienced. You feel your senses heightened. The barfly seems to sober up almost instantly. One of the few pieces of edible cheese left in this world. Oh, really? So we've been just, like, the cheddar we were using is, like, not edible. It's just like, old cheese. Anything else gets pounded into cheddar immediately, but by the cats. That keeps the only one I know who still has a piece of contraband like this. It showed me at once. When they were a little drunk. Is it some kind of family keepsake or something? Bond down through generations of mice. Never really thought much of it until now. Guess your story does check out. Felines don't let something like this slip by them for so long without good reason. If you ever wonder what cheese tastes like before, we turned it into crumbs. Or we used it to trade material goods and labor. When it was just simple pleasure we enjoyed with one another. Before subjugation. They trail off into silence, drifting into their thoughts. 
strange impulse fills you. It's now it's a tale. Your words echo in your mind. Why was it taken from you and your kind? Surely there'd be no harm in just... Let's try some. Oh, really? Yeah? I guess you're already pissing them off, so... As well, taste what our ancestors used to relish. Hope it aged well. Here. You're given a piece of the Lords of Hundreds. Eat it. Om nom nom. As soon as they hit your tongue, you feel the room begin to shift. Oh, God. Psychedelic cheese. Strange as that sensation overtakes your form. Your corporeal body detaches from the spirit. A higher existence comes into focus here within it, this moment. Your thoughts drift to currency. What use is it? In the stream of emotions, you feel peace. Your rent no longer looms overhead, demanding your subservience to a greater system that wishes not for your best interests, nor to care for you. Taste still lingers in your mouth. Simply sublime. Eons of cheese eating wash over you, the natural state of things, your heritage. Why have we let them take it? What is blocking you from out of the past? It certainly isn't a law of nature. There's more of us than them. We outnumber them a million to one. Why is that we have yet to coverage? Converge. Sig on the upper hand. Why have we been so scared? They shouldn't take from us any longer. They can't. Not today. Not anymore. They won't. Ah! Did you feel that? It's like some kind of woke. Something woke. Some kind of woke. Bitch got woke. It's like something woke within me and I don't think it's going back to sleep. You should, uh, take this and get out of here. You give the Lord of the Hundreds. No. I think I need to go lay down. That was a lot. Look up there. I think you might be the only one who can change all of this. I was kind deserves to be free. Free the patriarchy. I want to take the pit fork. Well, I guess technically it's just a fork. Where am I going? This way. This way. Scurry, scurry, scurry. Oh, it's called Nine Lives. You. Fucking Mickey. Like the mouse? Like Mickey Mouse? I know what you stole from the bar. Who do you think you are? You're coming with me, you pissed off the wrong cat. You're a cat? Thank you for playing the demo of Until Big Light. The application will now close. <laughs> well, that was fun. That was a lot of reading. It, damn, did that old mouse kill my voice. But goddamn, he killed the old mouse. It's fucked up. Took the needle and was like... Mm -mm -mm. Damn. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, that was a fun story. I can't wait. I might check out the full game. If there is a full game, I'm not sure if any of these have full games. Hmm. Anyway. That was really fun. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.